in COD history, greatest comeback ever, okay, we were losing the whole entire game, at one point they were like at 160, and we, all, we didn't even have 100 points, I don't think we did, but this is the greatest comeback ever, you guys will see, it's epic, my final score is not the greatest, it's 50, 50 something in 13, it's not the greatest score, but, I mean, this is the greatest comeback ever, but, uh, the topic I'm going to be talking about today is the Black Ops 2 trailer that was released last night during the NBA playoffs. So I'm just pretty much going to give you a review in my opinions. So obviously, um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys seen the trailer. At least I hope you did. Um, but it's basically, it's going to it's based in the near future. So 13 years, I think it is. So. Yeah, and you see all these futuristic tanks, like this walking tank that looks like Star Wars, like, yeah, yeah. but anyway, yeah, that's basically it, then they showed, um, I don't know, this, this character, he looks like a zombie, I forget his name, um, but yeah, anyways, so I'm pretty sure you guys seen the trailer, if you guys haven't, it will be in the description of this video, but anyways, so my review on it, okay, well honestly, I mean, I'm not a big fan of uh, games that are kind of futuristic. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Like Halo and all that. I don't like Halo and everything. Basically because it's based in the future and it's just like alien. And I don't know. It's just, I don't like it. Now, that's my opinion. And I know you guys have your own. But anyways, that's my opinion. All right. So yeah, that's one flaw I don't really like, that it's based in the future, but hopefully the online is better than what the campaign looks like. <laughs> um, I'm going to be honest though, like when I first seen the trailer, you know, I was, you know, I had a heart on, alright? But as soon as I seen that walking tank, it instantly went to a heart on to a softy, alright? Once I seen that tank, dude, I was like, what in the fuck is that? Like, the first thing that popped in my head was Star Wars. Like, what the hell? Like, I don't know why they put that in there. Like, goddamn. I don't know what they were thinking. I think that's a little too far. Like, a Star Wars-like uh, looking fucking tank thing. Like, yeah, that's that thing turned me off big time. But hopefully they don't have that online. Because I don't feel like running around online. Then all of a sudden I see this fucking massive tank thing walking towards my direction shooting at me. Like that will be retarded. So hopefully they don't have that online. That's what I'm hoping anyways. Maybe it's a kill streak. I don't know. I'll tell you something though. If it's a kill streak it better be a high motherfucking kill streak. Like I'm talking in the 20s. <laughs> Sorry for my language. But anyways. So yeah. But. You know, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to put some change into the game. You know, because Call of Duty is mostly based on modern, like, war. Like, now, or based back, like, a couple years ago. I get that. And I know they're trying to make some change, but I think they're going a little too far with the futuristic shit. I mean, I don't know. It's either going to hurt them or it's going to benefit them, like... I, I like what they're trying to do, you know, they're trying to put some change, but I think that's going too far. I know some people are getting tired of the basic, you know, combat like this. But I'm going to be honest, like, I like it. 
Like, it's realistic. I like it. I don't feel like, uh, you know, playing and I have this fucking futuristic looking gun that shoots lasers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that uh, guns are going to shoot lasers in uh, Black Ops 2 because they're obviously not. Because it's only in the near future, so like 13 years from now. But still, the guns look retarded. Anyways, like, from what I can tell, I mean, they look pretty gay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but hopefully, hopefully it's not what I think it's going to be. I don't know. I'm just sort of hoping. I'm hoping online looks way better than it does, like, campaign play. I hope they release a, uh, a online trailer. I forget if they did with MW3 or not. But I hope. But yeah, I know. I see how people want change and everything. They're getting bored of the typical, you know, combat like it is now. But honestly, I like it. I mean, so I don't know. Hopefully they don't have any bullshit things in the game. And hopefully they don't have that Star Wars looking tank. Because I'll tell you something. That's going to be a major piss off. I can just see it now. And if they do have it, it better be a kill streak. Well, it probably is going to be a kill streak if they actually have it online. But it better be like a high like 20 kill streak or something. Like a MOAB. 24 kill streak. Because that thing would be fucking tank. But uh, that's basically my review. On uh, Black Ops 2 trailer, you know, there's a part of me that's excited because this game's full of bullshit. But then there's a part of me that's kind of like futuristic, that's kind of gay. But look at the score, okay? You guys seen it? It was like a 180 and they had 199. We triple capped them. I was rushing to see, like, there was hot girls just showing their vagina. I get there, try to save it, but we went anyways. Right on. But that's it. So I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you guys think about the Black Ops 2 trailer. Let me know your opinions. And that's basically it, guys. So stay tuned for the next commentary tomorrow. So uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe for a prostitute. Peace out.